age 15, people were sent to a concentration camp. I was, that, I was a little bit privileged, and there uh, were certain people who protected us uh, as far as they could. And I took the 1943, if they really got to me, and I was warned and went underground. And I was able to stay uh, uh, hidden until 19, uh, uh, till September 1944, when I was caught and sent to a concentration camp. I was lucky, even the concentration camp, uh, they got my papers exchanged. And it's a long story, but uh, I was not as a student in the concentration camp, I was there as an Italian partisan. Uh, and uh, I might talk later a little bit about it. But uh, I was basically, we were at hard labor. That meant getting up at five o'clock in the morning and uh, roll call and all those uh, other stupid things which nobody uh, really knew why it was done just to make you feel bad. Right little to eat and marching uh, to uh, the work site and uh, we worked about 12, 13 hours a day. Uh, I got caught in uh, September, so I was uh, during the winter 40, 44, 45, which was a very tough winter in Germany. I thought it was cold and uh, we worked in construction, work excavations and uh, things like that. And, with the food we got, that wasn't exactly uh, a good thing to do, and uh, no comfort or anything else, not enough sleep, not enough food. The average life uh, of a prisoner was about six months. Well, I was lucky. Five and a half months into my... I think I, I was at the end of the line, I knew that the Americans arrived, so they were liberated, and that's how so much. I had some connections with uh, people, the prisoner hierarchy, and uh, they killed me statistically off and uh, gave me the papers, uh, papers and uh, the number of an Italian uh, partisan who had been died the, the day I arrived. And uh, therefore nobody looked for me. I was given out a stat, so nobody uh, dealt with me and other, uh, otherwise I said I was a prisoner, sir, but a uh, non-Jewish prisoner.